Hello everyone, Dennis here at the Federation Shipyard with uh, another update on the Terminator skull, one to one scale. Okay, I've been working on the eyes and what I ended up doing, and I decided to change them up a little bit uh, from the last video. You saw that I had the, the red um, iris, whatever you want to call it, the reflective part in the, of the eye on the top of the lens, or of the ball of the eye. What I ended up doing is I getting some. I got some good looks at some pictures of the eyeballs of the Terminator, and he does have like a looks like he has a, a lens over the top like like the human eye does. So what I ended up doing was um, I had a bunch of these these little clear circles here that I got from a place that they're just gonna throw them away, and I picked them up, got a bunch of them. So what I ended up doing is some trial and error. I used my heat gun. And this is one of the mistakes. Started bending it right, but then it kind of kinked on me, so I had to. Oops. So I, guess, so I had to scrap that one. Trial and error. What I ended up doing was taking a different size marbles and kind of getting the right size for the uh, the lens over the eye, so it fits on it real nice and uh, stuff. So what I ended up doing, come up with, was this. Let me take it off so you can see here. It is small. But what I did was I sunk the I don't know if you can see it too well, but I put the lens, that red part, inside, I mounted it from the back in there. Let's see if you can see it or not. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see like light through it a little bit. But, okay, and this is the what I came up with. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this too well since it's clear, but it's just a little bitty bowl in it. Gives like a little cup, and it just fits perfectly right over the top of the, the eyes. And I've got some crystal clear glue that I'm gonna put it on there so it won't, you won't see nothing like that. And it goes on just like that. And then let's see if I can get close enough so you guys can see it. See, I think it turned out pretty good. I like the looks of it. Might have to do some trimming, just a little bit on the, to smooth it out some. But it's kind of rough cut right now. Just got done doing them. I got the other lens right here. There's the other one. You can see it too well. So, that's where I'm at right now. What I'm going to do, is, like I said, is um, <clears throat> glue those on there on both eyes. That way I can get, finally get the glues, or the, the eyes glued in place. And then I can work on the bearings for the, the on the eyes. So, all right, that's it what I got for now. So I'll be back in just a few. All right, guys, got the irises done now. Got them glued on. And I said should be should be dry by now. But what I've been working on, um, I want to apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I don't have it on the tripod. Um, let me get some point here with. I've been working on the. Let's see here, the ball bearings inside the eyes. Right through there and all around the eye. Let me get a flashlight here to shine down better because my lighting here kind of stinks. Uh, let's see. Right there, you can see I'm actually pretty good there now. Got the one side done and I'm processing on this side. Got one in and I still got three more to go. Um, here, let me turn the predator eyes on now so you can see what they look like when they're on. They do look pretty good. So. I'm going to keep working on these ball bearings, get those in, and I'll come back and show it to you. Back in a few. Alright guys, got the ball bearings in. I think they're looking pretty good. It was, uh, this side here went in a lot easier than this other side over here. Because this side, I guess, was all my trial and error. Once I got it figured out how to get them in there, it went in pretty quick. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at that real quick since they're done. Now I'm going to start getting the teeth shaded, and I'll be right back. Back in a few. Alright guys, I got the teeth all uh, taken care of. Got a little ahead of myself here, but I was going to do the top half and then show you before I did the bottom, but I ended up doing both top and bottom, and then I glued the jaw on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what I did was I used some uh, paint that I got offline uh, from Model Master, his bone. Um, there's no number on it because it's all wore off here, but it was, oh there it is. 4392 <clears throat> excuse me 
and I use some sand yellow from Vallejo and then I use this regular uh, enamel a little bit of uh, just a maybe I wouldn't even call it a drop a full drop of uh, yellow mixed it together and it gave me the tint that I wanted and then I would just use a little bit more yellow like on the edges here of the teeth to give them more of a de definition and then lastly what I did was I took some black wash here and I went between the teeth to separate them so that they look like individual teeth instead of just one mold I think it turned out pretty good I like it but uh, and now the only thing I've got left to do for the skull is to put the pieces together here for the jaw pistons which is all right here get those put together and put on and I'll show you what it looks like here all lit up the eye is on kind of gives a menacing look to it <clears throat> but that's where I'm at right now um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, call it on this video um, the next one it should be the uh, final because uh, all you have to, have to do now is uh, just get the stand taken care of and uh, get it mounted on there. Oh, I did get this in the mail. Um, it's a CPU chip that's supposed to go inside the head there. I just gotta do a little painting on it to get it look like the what was in the movie. But that's not bad. It's actually made of uh, a metal, so when it drop it, it makes a ting sound. So what I want to do with that is uh, put that maybe on the stand, like right alongside his face here, or something. We'll see. So again, like I said, this is the end of this video. Um, like, thank you for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them below. It'd be greatly appreciated also. So that'll do it. And I'll, uh, like I said, I'll keep working on another video to get the rest of it up so we can see what it looks like in the final. All right. Talk to you guys later.